Do you have any sense of if the WCA or the women's game has changed over the years? Uh, yeah, I would say a lot has changed. I'd say like the speed of which people play is faster. I would say the balls are different every week. The courts are different every week. The speed of the courts are different every week. Um, how much grain are in the courts are different every week. The stringers are different every week. Um, which just makes everything different. I think there was more consistency probably 10 years ago, like when I first came on the tour, all the balls being the same, like pretty similar stringers week in and week out. Like just as obviously as tournaments want to make more money and cut costs down, they just kind of take their own angles of things, which is totally fine. It's just that it gives a lot of, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It gives a lot of, like discrepancy throughout the year of like which balls are where, what surface you're playing on, how slow one court is, how fast another court is. Like those are just things that are different. And I think that affects how players play, that affects players' shoulders, if there's more injuries, if there's less injuries, people's knees being bad, the whole like thing. It's like always affects like the broader group, yeah. which I mean, yeah. So how would you change it? Oh my God, you have a question. Let him answer. No, no, I'll just guess. As a lot of pros are saying, they got hurt from the ball, the frequent ball, ball gate. Changes. Yes. Um, <laughs> have, you had, <laughs> have you had any injuries or any? I haven't had any injuries aches, aches or pains from the from, ball changes. No, I, I wouldn't say from the ball changes. I've had anything. I would say the court surfaces, but I mean the balls like. The balls are very subtle, like where you feel like elbow pain or you feel like your shoulders tighter or like things like that. I would say I've noticed that over the last like two years, it's kind of gotten a little bit weird. Um, but guys are different. You guys serve more with your balls or harder. Like it's a whole thing. Like now you can like clearly see the balls are like fluffing up. Like you can see clear differences like with your eyes, whereas before you really couldn't tell people weren't really paying attention. And then now again so many different things have changed dynamics have changed with the courts with the balls with the stringers with the string like stringers so like are so different now like i play with the string somebody else has a different string like it's just like everything is a, is really different and i think that like the people playing the ten the actual tennis have like our bodies haven't caught up with it yet mm -hmm. if that makes yeah. sense did you change anything um like with rackets or string anything you know, with the with the different changes, do you do anything differently besides obviously just string out different tensions? But do you try messing yeah. around with any with strings? Well, I guess you really didn't really have any like injuries. No, I had a foot ball. injury, which was from bad shoes. Okay. But I would say I did change my racket. Probably I changed my racket last year. Last year I played with a different racket all season, and I was like, no, 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 I gotta go back to my <laughs> to my old faithful. So I went back to my old rackets. Um, but that was pretty much it. I mean, it's harder, again, a lot harder to control the balls and all of these like different dynamics and like week to week. Um, so that's also tough. And you have to be way more diligent on like what you're stringing at, how tight you're stringing, how loose, how you're changing it, when you're going to altitude, when you're going to asphalt, when you're on concrete, like those, all of those things make a difference. And you have to be paying a lot more attention. Yeah. And what surface do you prefer? Um, I love clay. Clay is my favorite surface. Um but yuck what the surface directly no yeah chance. it looks great from me looking at the match looks great slider raw it's, it's like gonna have to get get that. yeah it's the best jade i could definitely beat you in a baseline game on like at french open for sure i'm not gonna sit here and say no you think i'm gonna sit here and argue with you <laughs> put me on a hard court and i'll be okay but clay courts i don't know what yeah, no. So it's like those things make a difference are for you, sure. Are you sensitive, really sensitive to like racket weights and stuff? Because I know some players are like super picky. Uh, your side yeah. is. You're so <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I'm, I'm not. I could probably play with any racket, right? But when I'm like trained, like if we were like, oh, we're going to go play right now, I could play with any racket. Like I could like practice. I could be too easy to base my game. Yes. Um with with his own racket. So yeah, I would be fine to do that. But I would I feel like there is a little bit of like trust with your racket when you're playing a match. Like I can definitely tell like you can tell the difference if you're playing a match. But if you're just like hitting or whatever, I can't I'm like, eh, it's okay. That's true. All right. We have a a ten year old girl who watches the mm -hmm. podcast. Her name is Addy. Okay. Addy. I'm not sure how they but not in it, Aria. And I think she was the beauty right. tennis player. Oh. What do you think she should be focusing on right now at 10 years old? For instance, let's say the next 
I don't know, two, three years. What should her focus be on? Oh, she wants to be a WTA player. Oh, she wants to be a WTA player. I would say have fun. Enjoy it. Obviously, it gets very serious when you're like 18 if you want to be a WTA player because you're like paying bills and you're an adult. Um, so enjoy it now while you can. Um, learn as much as you can. Be a sponge. Listen to your coaches. Um, and don't be afraid to give 100%. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching the clip. The full episode will be in the description down below. Go check it out for a full episode with Sloan Stevens. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos on our channel. Thanks for watching.